Hi and welcome to my channel Just Be. I know it's been a while but hey. So this video will be about looking into mirrors. Um, since I was younger, it, well it all began with getting some people saying I was good looking, some saying I was but ugly. So I used to find myself looking at myself in the mirror and what I actually discovered was that if you look long and hard enough you can actually get in touch with your soul. Um, and I shared this thought with other people and they called me crazy but I knew that I just had a gift. So in saying that, to start this video I thought I'd share a short quote by Anon. This is a story about your life. The day you were born you arrived with a clean slate, a mind as pure as nature. Sure there was a little pre-programming in your DNA but nothing that couldn't be changed if you had the will to do so. You grew up listening to all the beliefs, all the programming of your parents, your family, your school teachers, the media, your peers and everyone else who had some sort of influence over you. Gradually, over time, your beliefs became solid rocks and you believed what you believed, thinking it was your own beliefs, prejudice, principles, rules of life and values. Then one day, you start to question one of your beliefs and this is the day that something magical happens. You realise that your reality is not really your own, it's being created by what you believe then something even more magical happens. You realise that you can change your beliefs. Right, so now that I've got that out of the way, let me just be clear that when I'm talking about mirrors, I'm not talking about horror stories, Candyman, Bloody Mary, Feng Shui, acid trips, portals, or vanity. This is specifically about seeing your inner self through mirrors. Now, to kind of reiterate or affirm my experiences of looking in the mirror I thought I'd share some stories that I came across on forums so here we go I have done this when I was in high school after looking at myself in the mirror for some time I used to feel if I used to feel is this what I am then after a while focus goes to my facial features am I these curves and lines if something like this is drawn Will it experience being me? I did, it did cross my mind that the face is too similar to my dad's. Some dissociation happens. I'm not sure whether my eyes are open or closed. I lose consciousness of the body for a few seconds. I guess not sure of duration. And once I was partially okay, I stumbled to my bed and lay down for a while feeling dizzy. Fine after some time. I'm a psychology professor and I've actually studied the effects of mirror gazing in the laboratory. We say gazing rather than staring because if you keep your eyes soft it helps you stay grounded. Although it's certainly possible to go on an infinite number of trips, as you look at yourself in the mirror we encourage our research participants to stay present with themselves. Most times people are initially critical of their appearance or some aspect of themselves that gets triggered when they look in the mirror. We encourage to stay with it and continue to breathe, not abandon themselves. We've developed specific instructions to do mirror meditation which I will touch on at the end of this video. The effects are powerful. Our lab studies show that 10 minutes of silent mirror gazing a day with no goal other than to be present with yourself, reduce stress and increases self-compassion. One of the exercises in a leadership course I did was to stare into a mirror for increasing amounts of time. I did this every morning for many weeks. The instructions were to stare into the mirror until I was able to connect with myself and feel that there is nothing in the way between myself and the person in the mirror. It's quite challenging. By default, I judge myself harshly. I look at my reflection and want to look away so I don't have to face up to any of the doubts and shame I have. But once I'm able to put this aside and connect with myself, I feel a kind of confidence that can't be explained. Being okay with myself allows me to be okay with others. Instead of being worried about my own issues when talking with others, I become free and open, able to listen closely and intently to them, and able to put myself in their world as I talk to them. I changed permanently as a result of that course. I am now able to approach people and start conversations which wasn't possible before. And I can make plans and follow through with them, even when I feel like it's too hard and I should give up. I can make requests without the fear of hearing no as the answer. I now run a chess club and organise a yearly annual fair in my, ta in my town. Staring into a mirror was a vital part of me being able to do that. All right, so now that I've shared stories of similar experiences, which I think is very important to confirm what I'm talking about, 
I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect with the inner soul. It may seem a bit deep actually, this. I didn't really have to go to these lengths to do it myself, but I feel like it's important to provide instructions for you to follow if you're going to try it yourself and take it seriously, please. Um, it's done wonders for me, to be honest. I delve in a variety of meditation, which I will touch on at a later date, but looking in the mirror to get in touch with yourself really does work if you are willing to take it seriously. And a bit of advice, do it on your own. If you have someone there watching you, it doesn't work. And that's a psychological thing. Again, I'll touch on that at a later date. So here's the steps, which I will not be doing a voiceover for. Just I'll leave it running for a bit. Right, and in closing, I want to say I love you all, I love myself, and here's a short video on the lady that invented mirror meditation. It's just um, a brief introduction, I guess, to what she has to offer, or maybe you just want to follow her videos or see where she can take you with it. I've never heard of mirror meditation, but I came across it. As I said, I've done a bit of research to reaffirm my experiences and this is obviously the closest thing I could find to my experience. So yeah, enjoy and thanks for watching Just Be and until next time, peace and love. I'm out. Hello, my name is Tara Well. I'm a motivational psychologist and the founder of Mirror Meditation. Mirror Meditation is a 10 minute daily practice in which you basically just sit with yourself in front of a mirror with no goal other than to stay present with yourself for the 10 minutes. It sounds amazingly simple, actually very powerful. If you're an experienced meditator or someone who's interested in meditation who hasn't been able to start, I invite you to try mirror meditation. You can do this on your own. Just sitting in front of a mirror in a comfortable cross-legged position or on a chair and just sit with yourself for 10 minutes with no goal other than to be present with yourself. You'll be amazed at what you discover. Our research actually shows that if you do mirror meditation regularly, it can reduce your stress level and also increase your self-compassion. My clients and students report changes in their relationships, changes in their views about themselves, increased ability to manage stress, to regulate their own emotions, to know their emotions and to know what they're feeling in the moment, and to also use themselves as the home base, the touchstone for um, when they're feeling distressed, rather than relying on other people or situations outside themselves to have, have a calming effect on them. They're able to find that inner calmness for themselves by just actually gazing at their own reflection for a few minutes and looking into their own eyes. Two of the biggest objections of doing mirror meditation or, or the, the initial reactions I have to that, uh, doing mirror meditation is one thing people always ask me well isn't that narcissism isn't looking at yourself narcissistic well it certainly can be if you only use the mirror as a way to uh, create kind of a self aggrandizement or to use the, um, the the selfies that you take as a way to get praise and recognition from other people but you can also use the mirror as a way to get uh, deeper to, to go deeper within yourself and to understand more of your motives and intentions and your feelings in the moment and to look at yourself with honesty. The other objection people have is they, when they first look in their mirror, they, they're very critical of their own appearance and it becomes really painful to look at themselves for 10 minutes. I would say that that is really good information for you to have. If you can't look at yourself for 10 minutes without criticizing yourself or feeling uncomfortable, then that really is an area of your life that I think that you should work on, something that I would encourage you to work on. Um, you want to be able to be kind to yourself, to be a friend to yourself. Oftentimes people who are self-critical also have lots of plans for what they want to do with their lives and, and they want to be happy and have fulfilling relationships and love themselves and yet when it comes to looking in their own eyes they're unable to do that. So really uh, mirror meditation can help with that. It can be used as a tool to confront yourself when you're uh, um, doing things that are out of sync with who you would like to be. Uh, it's a way to really get clear on um, 
how you're treating yourself, whether you're treating yourself with kindness or lack thereof. And it's a way to explore your emotions. It's a way to connect with yourself at a deep level. So instead of staring at a computer screen or looking to other people to reflect to you, you actually do mirror meditation as a way of deliberately engaging in literal self-reflection. I hope you'll try it. Thanks for watching Just Be. Please subscribe, like if you like, click the bell for more videos, and please comment because what you have to say is so important with what I'm trying to do here, and you will inspire my future videos, trust me. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Gmail. And let's keep this conversation flowing. Peace.